welcome back to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Andres Island. Today we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Our Lexio Divina, our divine reading, is from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 39 through 47. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, Father of mercies, who placed your people under the singular protection of your Son's most holy mother, grant that all who invoke the Blessed Virgin of Guadalupe may seek with ever more lively faith the progress of peoples in the ways of justice and of peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to a gospel passage. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. The Gospel of the Lord. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. In today's Gospel reading, according to St. Luke, after hearing from the angel that she would conceive a child and that her cousin Elizabeth was already far along in a very unexpected pregnancy, Mary decides to pay her cousin a visit. When Mary arrived and greeted her cousin, Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? The two cousins were anxious to share together their joy and happiness. In one way, it would make sense for Mary to visit Elizabeth because the younger should visit the older. On the other hand, Elizabeth should be the one to visit because Mary's child was a person of such rank and dignity as God's own son. In a way, the story is more interested in the children than in the mothers. The power of the Holy Spirit is much in evidence in this meeting. John, still in his mother's womb, leaps in his mother's womb at the very sound of Jesus' voice. His mother recognizes this as the power of God in Jesus reaching out to her son. Elizabeth herself is also filled with the Spirit and recognizes in her young cousin the mother of her Lord. Mary, filled with the Spirit, will soon break out to that wonderful hymn of praise that we all call and know as the Magnificat, a hymn that will proclaim the message of liberation Jesus will later deliver by word and action. She begins today in saying, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. A question for all of us. 
Do we proclaim the same each time we receive Jesus into our hearts at Holy Communion? Something to ponder. As usual, after our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage again. Contemplate its message. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you through the Holy Spirit, either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you. Then ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Jesus, our brother, in friendship, something our Heavenly Father deeply desires. Let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer. Let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in always. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, please click the like button. And if you haven't already done so, please ring the bell by clicking on the subscribe all button to help support our channel. And also share these links with others. Pass them along to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all. Have a great day. And join us again tomorrow for another Lexio Divina, a divine reading of God's sacred word. Hawks at bonum omnibus. Peace and blessings to all.